what's going on guys, I'm going to do another video in this one on me showing you how to make Dairy Queen with an interior. Now this is a remake also, hang on, it's annoying, gotta get rid of it. I did make this, I'll show you that really quickly, however it is stupid small, and uh, I actually don't remember what's inside really. Here's the inside in case you're curious. But yeah, there's a lot more room now, so you can make, there's a lot of space for changes. I have a lot of remakes. Now this is my third. Also, if you noticed, I've already put the old Dairy Queen in the playlist. I put that in right when I started building this, so there's a way to tell what the future is. Kind of a spoiler alert. But, uh, yeah. Space Moon is a 30 by 32, and yes, that stone brick is there. There was something under it, and I didn't. Or, it was a grill, and I decided to leave the stone brick for good memories. It will be gone by the end. Uh, here's your inside. Here is your kitchen. Uh, I just had a fridge, some sinks, and the ice cream things. I don't know if what else. I don't know if Dairy Queen sells normal things, to be honest. Here is this and this. However, I did add a grill on the other one, but I'm not sure why. I should have double checked. Like, hey, what does Dairy Queen sell? I should have looked at the menu. Oh, voice crack. And they do have a drive through. I checked that. So especially when you say 30 by 32, I think I might have already said that. And you need more than nine materials. I'll list, uh, I guess, all of them. But I'll, the first nine are the ones you want to get. And they are brick block, terracotta, black stained glass block, acacia door, sandstone, black stained glass panes, Red wool. Red concrete. And I'll call it at that, actually. Also gray concrete. Get up gray concrete. You also need block of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, and birch stairs. And I believe that's it. So 13, not terrible. Starting at the front left hand corner of your 30 by 32 good cough cough if you made it I said that weird you want to count backwards by three and right by two and going right place seven terracotta Move four diagonal right with a brick block Bring it right to There's a black stained glass block Two acacia doors black stained glass block three brick backwards diagonal right with a terracotta Bring it right by six. Backwards by hmm. sixteen. Then move it outwards down to the right with a brick block. Bring it right to back. I want to say six. Yes, left to. Back diagonal left with a terracotta, left three, or sorry, back three, left by, I don't know actually, left by 20, no, 23, I, I thought I counted that wrong, which I did. And then you want to connect it forwards. So basically, you just just at the line of where that terracotta is. There's your build. It's very spacious in there. Also, I'm going to mention this now, and I will mention it later. You can use either block of iron or block of quartz for the floor. It doesn't matter. I used iron. Both both materials I used in the build. You could use gray concrete if you wanted. I know that's an all right floor material. And going on in the same fashion, you're going to want to place two sandstone. Three black stained glass panes, two sandstone, with four diagonal right with a brick, bring it right to, with a black glass, skip over the doors, a black glass, three brick, then backwards diagonal, because two sandstone, three panes, two sandstone, everything should be on top of something, by the way, one sandstone, three black stained glass panes, two sandstone, three black stained glass panes, Two sandstone, three black stained glass panes, two sandstone, three bricks, then one brick going back, 
black glass, black stained glass pane with a one block gap, black stained glass pane, two bricks, left with two, back diagonal right plus sandstone, back three, left by 23. Let me check this number. It's one off of what it should be, I think. I need to check this, I'm sorry. This is the one number that I have no clue. Then bring it forward with seven sandstone. Three black stained glass panes. Two sandstone. Three black stained glass panes. So that window should be in line. It does look to be that way. Two sandstone. Three panes. Two sandstone. Three panes. One sandstone. So, I'll give you an overhead shot. Just lots of twos. And there is a black stained glass pane right there. It's kind of hard to see it, but it exists. You're going to want to copy that row one more time, except you want to place black stained glass blocks over the door. The doors. There's multiple doors. Also, it's worth mentioning that you probably should have a fire exit in every build. I don't think I've ever added one. But, like, somewhere on the back of the build, you should add a door. I literally have never added one. Not on houses, though. Houses should have a back door, at least. But they don't need an emergency exit. But, like, this probably should have one. Like, I'd say... Maybe you can just punch one out, like, here. It's gotta be probably... Well, it's gotta be in the kitchen, because on the left is bathrooms. There's really nowhere to put it. They technically should have one, but... Nah. That's some I've never added, so. On top of the sandstone, the black stained glass panes, you want to place three rows of sandstone. On top of the brick and the black stained glass blocks, as well as the area over there, you want to place... I want to say nine rows of bricks. Yes, you want to place nine rows of bricks on top of that. So, three and nine. This one is a little bit bulky at the front, but I kind of had to add the letters. The Q is kind of bad, I couldn't figure it out. I looked at the other one, I looked at that one, I still couldn't figure it out, so I just kind of was like, whatever, because I was trying to make them smaller. It's funny, every build has gotten taller that I've remade. I've made it taller and kind of bigger. Except for maybe the Lego store. Lego store is definitely- no, Lego store is definitely taller. It just might not be bigger. I think it might not have more space. That one's only alright. Not the biggest fan, but... I definitely like where this one went. There's only so much you can do with Dairy Queen, though. Because I didn't want to just make the same design, but bigger. I want to give you options if you're going to, like, I don't know. If you're looking at them and you're like, hmm, which one should I build? I don't want to make them exactly the same, just different sizes. Like, all three that I've remade are completely different. And that just kind of shows you the way I've changed from whatever that was, 2019, early 2019, to mid-2020. Lots of, lots of things have changed. Just goes to show that you can improve. Like, even, I feel like still right now I have lots of room to improve, but, like, back then, I was just only okay. Some of my modern houses were good, I had some good builds, however, I'd say the overall looks of my builds have definitely improved. Like, look at the comparison. Looking at the Dairy Queen, this one, and the one in the back. It's just, it's improved a lot. Even the queue looks better, to be honest. Looking at it from far away, it looks a lot better. But up close, it gets a little iffy. I tried to look, I tried to make this a stair, and then put a slab right here, and then a slab there, but it looked like a balloon. So, <laughs> I was like, definitely not doing that. Outwards diagonally from the sandstone, you want to place a row of gray concrete that goes all the way around your build, except for the brick. The brick kind of acts as a stopper, however, it does just end up coming out the other side of the brick. I think this is when the build really started to shape up a little bit more. We're not gonna- we're just gonna place this because I forgot to- forgot a step, but I remembered it, which is good. 
At every single black stained glass paint area, you want to place a red wool up diagonally. Now on the left and the right, where you have a string of windows, you want to just place one up diagonally from the front one and up diagonally from the back one. Just like that. And then the left side has more windows. Which actually don't interfere with the bathroom, which is nice. It's actually very- yeah, it's one block. See the one block in between? You're gonna want to place a red wool on top and, I guess, towards the outside of each one of these red wools. Also, this includes the door. That's kind of hard to explain because there's a lot of different directions. Like right, there's, there's right, there's left, and there's forward. But I guess respectively towards, not away from the build, completely away. There you go. And then you want to connect the top row and the, I guess, the front row together. So the sides are going to be longer than the front and back, or the front ones. The left is the longest, should be at least. It's got the most windows, so that's probably how that works. It's got four, I think? Yeah, four. It's got one extra window. Once you've done that, you should have this. So we're going to do the letters, I guess, last, because the next step, you want to take out your red concrete, and inwards diagonally from the gray concrete, you're going to place a row of red concrete. You could use orange if you want. However, I just use red. Red and orange are two Dairy Queen colors, which are also my two grid colors. You're gonna place two rows of red concrete on top of that. This build is actually pretty fun to make. So there should be three rows of red concrete. I forgot this little section. And it should be like three rows short. No, two rows shorter than the brick. <clears throat> so the front brick, the top two rows want to come backwards by four. And then the left one, the Front, or the top two rows want to come left by two. Only two. And then you want to connect the open side together, which would not be the top in case you were that game. I mean, eventually we're going to have to do that too, but not at the moment. Just to get it out of the way, you want to fill in your roof with red concrete. I really don't have anything to talk about, so. I mean, more Halloween stuff, but eh. It's really not much other than soon, by soon I mean this Friday, I'm going to be going somewhere. And also I'm going somewhere today, but you know, that's short lived. Best one's over the weekend. And then, so I'll probably, I'm gonna try to premiere then. We'll see if, it, if I can work, if I can get it to work. I'm gonna try to premiere like, I don't know, today maybe. Or not today, maybe eventually though. Not tomorrow, maybe whatever Wednesday, no, whatever the next day is. So I think that'd be Tuesday. But I'll try to premiere eventually and see if I can get it to work. And I'm also going to see if I can save videos. I have one video that I need to start, like today. I'm probably going to forget to start it, though, because I was going to start it, like, yesterday. I also forgot then. But I'm going to start that. That's going to be one of the videos you're going to see, probably Saturday. And then I might be able to record a video for Friday and Sunday and then just have it on the PlayStation and then I can pop them up when I have to. I want to say no, because today is Sunday, so good. They would be normal videos, not tutorials. Because tutorials typically are more annoying to have to record, especially in doubles. I do not want to trap myself in today. It's not how I'm feeling. All of these are open, so... You're going to want to get rid of your terracotta, your black stained glass, your acacia door, your sandstone, your black stained glass pans, your red wool, and your gray concrete. Bring your red concrete to the front next to your brick, and you want to get out a block of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, 
And birch wood stairs. I keep thinking I need to use the pad because of my gold controller, but no, this one's a midnight blue, which is nice. I like it. It's a good controller. One row up from... Wait a minute. Never mind. One row up from the doors, you want to place a row of six red concrete. No, sorry. Make it eight. Eight red concrete going left to right. So it should be one short of either side. I'm going to place two, three rows of red concrete that are on top of that that are all one block longer. One block longer on either side than that bottom row. So there should all be ten. And then you're going to place a row on top of that that's one block shorter on each side. There you go. You got a... It looks like a lemon. It really looks like a lemon. But the DQ logo does kind of look like a lemon. I'm not going to lie. From the, I guess the bottom left corner where there's no red concrete, go up diagonal to the right so you can see why I am highlighting, and you want to place three blocks of quartz moving up. From the top block going right, you want to place an upside down quartz slab and then a quartz stair facing right. From the bottom, you want to do the opposite. So going right, place a normal quartz stair and then a, or a normal quartz slab and an upside down quartz stair. Place a quartz in the middle. Here's your D. I'm gonna get out my photos for this. I feel like I need them. Leaving a one block gap, you want to place an upside down quartz stair facing left with a block on top and then a quartz stair on top of that. Just like that. Should be facing it. Going right from either one, you want to place a quartz slab, respectively. So from a so from the upside or from the normal stair go up right with an upside down one. From the upside down stair go right with a normal one. From the top stair, your slab, you want to place a stair facing right with two blocks under it. From that bottom block over right with a quartz slab. The Q is okay. It's seen better days. But yeah, that's pretty much your outside. Just use the you just want your take you want to take your birch wood stairs and on top of the brick you want to place birch stairs facing inwards. Do that on both sections. So what we're doing now should happen twice. Then place the row of upside down birchwood stairs outward from that. Just a little bit of a tip. It's easier to place upside down stairs against a block. I figured that out recently. Because, so, it makes it less likely for bedrock to do bedrock things and make your stairs go like that. Which I don't know why it's doing it, to be honest. I think it's because the angle on that. You gotta get, like, the perfect angle. Fill in both of your roofs with brick block, but again, you'll the bedrock discussions for a different day. By a different day, I mean probably Saturday. They're both actually three blocks, which does make sense because they're both five backwards total. Not backwards, but you get the point. Once you've done that, you want to clear your inventory and get out block of iron, terracotta, sandstone. Birch doors, oak signs, white concrete, and glowstone or sea lanterns or normal lanterns, whichever you prefer. So you're going to want to break your floor and you're going to replace it with either iron or block of iron. So I'm going to cut out and I'm going to do this. So again, if you want quartz or iron, whatever you prefer, I'm going to cut out and I'm going to do that and I will be back in a moment. Alright, so once you've done that, this is what you should have. You also need a spruce trap door and uh, you're going to need brick later for that. But I got an night vision potion so you guys can see. Uh, it's not bad for me, but I know YouTube likes to make the brightness a little bit lower for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So from this back terracotta, if you're on the right side, the back terracotta right before the brick, you're gonna bring that left with a with eleven terracotta. I wanna make sure I actually did eleven, cause it didn't really look like it, or it didn't feel like it. it. Felt like I messed up. I did. We're good. You're going to want to bring that backwards with three terracotta. Then a spruce trap door, and then six terracotta. It said seven for some reason, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Bring this terracotta here, the first one you placed beyond the trap door, you want to bring it left by two. And place a birch door. Then 
six terracotta. No, it's not six. It's five terracotta. And then a birch door and then two terracotta. Oops, that's a sign. These terracotta surrounding... Okay, so first, you want to do this first. From the Ithiwo 5, you want to bring the middle block backwards to the back. Place three rows of sandstone on top of all of your terracotta and two rows on top of the door. And then... We're doing this first before we do the lighting. So we avoid doing the typical lighting thing that I like to do, and that's having weird lighting in the bathroom. So we're, I'm trying to prevent that. Above the door, you want to place on you want to place on one side. I'd say one line down. You want to put women and one that says men. I do it on the second line down. I do it in all caps. You actually can't see the typing thing. I learned that recently. But yeah, that's what you should have. At the front. One sec. At the front left hand corner, either corner, at the second, at the middle of sandstone of three above the windows, you want to go to the opposite side, which I guess is the going right in my, from, for my case. You're going to place two white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone or sea lanterns, whichever you're using. Two white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, and two white concrete. Copy that pattern going backwards by one. And then you want to place two rows of white concrete. And then you're going to do your light pattern and just keep doing that over and over. So this is kind of like what one pattern looks like. And then wants to continue until it kind of can't anymore. And... Where you have this gap at the front, you just want to place a row of white concrete, and you're going to have a gap over there. I'll show you what to do with that in a second. Or once I get there. Is there anything to talk about? Not really. Also, when you hit the bathrooms, just go around them. Ignore them. Pretend like they're... Pretend like they're there. Or pretend like it's a wall. Just like a full-on wall. Like, the building ends there. But then just go around it. So it does want to go into the kitchen. The kitchen doesn't really have a separation. If it even is a kitchen. Also, if there's anything you should you want to add, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will maybe pin the comment or something. Or write something in the description or something like that. We'll see. It depends. But yeah, if there's something you think should be added, let me know because I'll definitely be looking at that. Oops. I don't know, I wish I, I wish I had something to talk about. Something important. If there's anything else you want me to remake, let me know. Also, while we're here, you want to bring your brick outwards a row. So to the left a row, I guess. Just so it kind of blends in with the wall. Just like that. I don't need the night vision anymore. I'm going to leave it there just for good times. So I think... This after this next window is where the bathrooms are. Maybe no, it's I think it's yeah. It's two it's the two as a white concrete and then the bathrooms are there. So once you hit this, just place white concrete all the way around it. And then you're gonna have a one by three strip just filled in with glowstone. Or you could use a lantern if you wanted. <clears throat> I've been talking for too long. Being very precautious today because the power keeps going out on us. It hasn't done it today. It did it yesterday. It's done it three days in a row, not including today. So that's concerning. So I've already saved the other clip. And this world is copied. So at the bathrooms, you can just place a one block light in the center. That should do the trick. It might be a little bit dark, but whatever. Now that I care that much. And then don't lock yourself out. Because I've done that before. Plenty of times. So once you've done that, you want to clear your inventory. And I guess we'll we'll do kitchen, then bathrooms, then this area. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something in the, I guess, main area. But I'll add it, if I remember. You need block of iron. 
Iron door. Smooth stone. Cauldrons. That's a lectern. Ah, I cleared it. So I thought it was iron, iron door, smooth stone, and then it was the cauldron, lever, stone, normal stone, tripwire hook, smooth stone slabs, and I guess we'll call it there. We still do need more. Yeah. At the f at the back left corner, you want to go left and place three stone and two smooth stone, two cauldrons, one smooth stone, and then a two blocks of iron, one on top of the other. In front of the blocks of iron, place an iron door, and above the cauldron, place levers. Above each stone, place a tripwire hook, and above the tripwire hooks, place smooth stone slabs. There's most of your kitchen. It's very simple, hopefully. So now you want to clear your inventory and get out stone stairs, stone slabs, stone brick stairs, and that's it. Along over here, screw you, get out of here. You want to place a st upside down stone stair at the front, and place a stone slab, an upside down stone slab to the left of it, and then an upside down stone stair to the left of that. There goes my night vision. At the middle blocks or the slab, you want to place a stone brick stair on top. That's what you should have. Along this front row, you're going to want to place a few just stone brick stairs. Also, you can just place a cauldron in the corner of the kitchen if you'd like. Or not, it doesn't really matter. However, for the main area, you want to get out oak wood stairs, oak fence, and white carpet. At the front corner, you want to place two oak stairs, and then leave a two block gap and place two facing into that. We're going backwards. You want to do that until you have four sets of stairs. So this is a set like this. These two are a set. So I've got three, and I want to add a fourth one. <clears throat> leave a three block gap going towards the right side, and you want to do the same thing. The same amount of tables as well. It's important that it's on the side with the bathrooms because it's not going to work on that side actually. And then at the other side you want to do the same thing except you only want to have two tables per row. And then want to be three blocks apart as well again. You can get out cauldrons and behind your two stairs that are kind of, oops, kind of floating there. You want to place a cauldron, you can place a cauldron behind them. Those are supposed to be trash cans. You should probably have one in every build except I always forget them. In between all your sets of stairs, place oak fence. So you should have... I want to say 12 tables in total. Two sets of four and two sets of two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. Place white carpet on top of all of your oak fences. I feel like that's kind of simple, except there's a lot of steps in that math that I just did. But the overall, I guess, final equation's pretty easy. It's basically just 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2. Which goes to 8 plus 4, which goes to 12. Or if you want to do 6 plus 6, that would also work. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Once you've done that, though, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Dairy Queen with an interior complete, the second version. Also, something that I do want to mention, if you want to add a, one of the little, I don't know what even, I don't even know what they're called. I guess covers? Almost, they're almost like window covers, because I think they can go down on, like, actual builds. But if you want to add one of those, like, above this one, then you can. I didn't, because I thought it, like, didn't make sense. Because if you jump, you can hit your head on it. Which really doesn't make sense, because... If a car is supposed to fit through there, I don't know how that's going to work. But, aside from that, that is your Dairy Queen complete. I do actually really like this Dairy Queen. 
a lot better than that one. Again, if there's anything you think should be added, leave it in the description, or not the description, the comments. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video as I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.